make a major investment in infrastructure in yep. a place, if you yep. allow trillions in corporate dollars floating offshore to come back in, um, and you allow the, the local farming to grow, right. what you're going to get is an enormous revitalization, including of real estate. Right. Exactly. And not only that, but you're going to get, let's look at inner cities and gangs, for example. Right. So now we have inner city residents mostly being held hostage by gangs. That's the life they live. Right. Drugs, gangs, violence, shootings, drive-bys, all this stuff. So now imagine if in the same uh, neighborhood there are six or seven big urban farms going and yep. everybody's sharing food and so forth and so on. Now the demand from those people that the streets be safe mm -hmm. has some force behind it and a reason yep. behind it. Not just, well, we want to be able to walk down to, uh, you know, whatever we've got here, uh, you know, McDonald's or, uh, you know, the AM, PM, but thing. Well, we've got an enterprise going here. We've got several enterprises, and they are turning into businesses, and people are making profit, and it's all good because the, the food is good and clean and nutritious, and we aren't going to stand for any mm -hmm. kind of interruption here of mm -hmm. what we're doing. Now the demand rises to a new height, and the Popsicle Index goes up, because yep. the whole <laughs> structure and basis of these neighborhoods is changing. Believe it or not, when we were when we were building the data servicing centers in the low income communities, one of the one of the things that caused the most offense was it turned out that ten bucks plus health care bought almost everybody out of dealing drugs. So wow. the speed at which the gangs will melt into legitimate employment is quite remarkable. Yep, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. 